And the key is knowing how to control it. So if you are angry or you're getting mad a lot, don't get guilty, don't feel bad about yourself. Just realize that it's a reaction you're having and it's something that you need to deal with. And that's what makes someone emotionally responsible. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roshni and I'm glad to see you here. I was gonna come home and film a couple of videos that I've been planning, but I was honestly just so like angry when I got home. Like I have been waking up feeling so grateful and so happy, but the last couple of days I've just been getting angry and angrier and angrier. And I think part of it is just, you know, reading stories in the news or reading stories online anywhere about, you know, terrible things that have happened, um, bad situations at work. And I've realized, especially by the end of today, that like, as I got angrier, I just got more and more impatient. I was just so like rash and like, I wanted to just kind of like lash out, even though I know that that's not who I am. And so I decided to just like vlog the rest of my evening. I'm just gonna talk to you about what I do to kind of calm down and get myself back together so that I can feel more at peace and more patient and just not like I'm gonna freak out every two seconds because that happens to everyone and the key is knowing how to control it. So if you are angry or you're getting mad a lot, don't get guilty, don't feel bad about yourself. Just realize that it's a reaction you're having and it's something that you need to deal with and that's what makes someone emotionally responsible. Honestly, I would take a walk with my dog, but this is how it looks outside. Yeah, it is super early in October and it is super snowy, so normally I would recommend spending some time outside or spending time in the sun, but that is definitely not a possibility. So um, I'm gonna spend the night in and just make it relaxing. especially when you're angry and especially when you feel like you don't want to deal with anyone is actually to remember that you care about other people and remember who you care about. What I mean is that you can use this time to do something nice for someone else without necessarily being there, you know? Also, it doesn't have to be about the person that you're mad at, but just reminding yourself that you do care about other people. So whether it's taking the time to go and like find someone their Christmas gift or um, making something for someone. Like you can still do those things alone, but at the same time be thinking of someone else. And I think that that's a really good way. Sometimes when you're angry, you just feel bitter, you know? And that's something that um, was really hard for me with the whole self-care and um, just like the whole self-care and self-love movement, movement and the idea that it's okay to be selfish. I think that a lot of us do need to be told that, but then some people, um, and with myself included, I just kind of kept being selfish. So not that I wasn't being nice to other people or wasn't being caring towards them, but I think I just forgot the art of caring about another person. Um, so something that I'm actually gonna work on right now is um, my life coaching client right now. I'm going through some books and picking out some readings and just um, kind of spending some time just thinking about another person. Alright guys, so something else that is super, super important is honestly just having food. <laughs> having good nourishment makes such a freaking difference. And honestly, like, I don't think I ever fully got hangry. Like, I didn't always feel, like, emotionally, like, uh, until, like, recently. Um, that's honestly a huge part of dealing with anger is making sure that you're taking care of your physical body. And there is something called the gut-brain axis where your gut and your gut health and your gut bacteria is actually connected to your brain. And there's an axis and kind of an information path that goes back and forth. And it tells you how much it really is important to take care of your physical body, take care of, um, you know, your yourself internally especially so that you are teaching your brain to think positive thoughts. One of the best things I can do when I'm mad as well is just to do nothing. And I just spent this time eating dinner, like laughing, just watching TV, and not being worried about being productive or performing or working, and just living life and remembering that I am still a person regardless of how productive I am in a day, and just kind of letting go of my worries and realizing that I can still have fun, I can still just hang out and relax instead of, you know, being consumed with all of my problems. During this time, just take a step back and remember all the things that you love or that calm you down and things that you 
appreciate in your environment without any extra pressure of solving your problems or figuring everything out today. Just take a little time, give yourself a break. Something that kind of indirectly happened this evening that also helped with my anger was just staying off social media uh, because I wasn't scrolling through things, I wasn't playing a game or anything, um, and that really does help a lot with anger, especially when you either feel like you're misplacing anger or you feel like frantic and kind of anxious as well, um, because sometimes you get angry but then you're like restless, you know what I mean? Like you feel like you need to go from one thing to the next, so you're like tweeting a bunch of things and then going and playing a game and then the second you lose you like go and go onto Instagram and hate look at certain people's pictures like no matter what it is there's always something that can be toxic about social media so it's good to avoid it but it's also good to have other things that you're doing so that you're genuinely not just sitting there being like oh I can't look at my phone I can't look at my phone and like you're just sitting there staring at it anyway <music> a different day now. Um, my camera actually died while I was recording my outro, so I apologize about that. But um, the last thing that I wanted to say, and kind of tying it back to the very first thing that I mentioned, which was just understanding and recognizing the symptoms of your anger, along with that is obviously unpacking the bigger why. And whether it is, you know, something small that happened and you're directly angry because of one you know, small thing that you know and understand, or whether it is, you know, a series of things that have been piling up, or a lot of emotions that you've just kind of been pushing down and running away from, whether that's what's causing your anger, there's a lot of different reasons that could be contributing to it. So obviously, you know, addressing that and kind of getting down to the root cause of why you're so angry is super important. But obviously, that is kind of a big, uh, a big project and a lot of emotional work to get through. Sometimes a lot of our anger comes from things that we have just been holding on to and burdens that we think that we've moved on from but we're just still carrying around with us in terms of you know how we see the world and how we respond to just kind of day-to-day -day things. You could be holding a lot of that pain still inside of you. There really is a big emphasis that I want to put on letting things go, uh, but also a lot of your anger can come from running away from yourself. So we can also look at other people or look at fights that we're having in our life and blame everything that's happening on other people, but the blame game doesn't really get you anywhere. You know what I mean? You have to hold yourself accountable to what is going on in your own life and Sometimes those conversations or fights that we're having, they're symptoms, but how you're really feeling is the attack that you are putting on yourself and how angry you are with how you have been behaving or how you're running away from something. Whenever we run away from our emotions or how we're feeling, it catches up to us at some point. So really take a look at your situation and say, is there something that I need to take control of and is there something that I need to be accountable for and do I just need to kind of own up to it and apologize and find a way to move on that way or is it something that I'm just carrying with me that maybe happened in my past but I just can't seem to let go and like I said these are you know things that take a lot of emotional work and a lot of time to get through but identifying a problem and working on it and kind of knowing that there's an end in sight is so much better than just running around and constantly being angry so that is um, all I wanted to say for this vlog thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will enjoyed this kind of spontaneous vlog that I made. Um, if you wanted to watch more videos, I will link them up on the screen. Thank you so much as always. Happy healing!